guys, how you doing? Crafty Chef Diamond here. Welcome to my crafting kitchen. Look, I already tried to do a video showing my face and I am not having a very good day today. So, um, I was a hot mess. So I thought, well, you know what? We're just going to do it this way for right now. Um, but I want to welcome to us. Welcome everybody to the channel. Uh, welcome to my crafting kitchen. I have some new subscribers and I want to give you guys a little bit of a shout out before we get started. I finished Harry Potter. Oh my gosh. Uh, it was a challenge, but I enjoyed it. I, I, I can't wait to show it to you guys. Um, welcome D. Spare, Anna Mercado, Stacy Vroman, Mom Two Greyhounds. Welcome. Twitsy. Twitchy Witch, Jem Harding, Debbie W, and Barb King. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Um, so you guys know that I started doing this new project and it's from Perler. And I, I started Harry Potter. And I showed you guys the very beginning of what the pegboard looks like and everything. And then I, I did place a couple of the beads and... I just went ahead and I, I did it. I did it. You have to be careful. I, at, the, at the very end, I had to use a magnifying glass. I had a lot of people that reached out to me and gave me some very good helpful hints to work from the middle to the end instead of going from the end to the middle. And yeah, um, and you just have to be careful because sometimes when you start putting these beads together side by side, it's hard to tell what color that you need next. Um, so this was the color code and it didn't really match up with the beads, but I have plenty of beads left over in my muffin tins. Um, I'm going to, to cut this up and then I'm going to bag it up in case I need them for a future project. Um, I have a uh, wonder woman and I got Batman and the, and the Disney, um, villains. So those are what I'm going to be working on shortly. In between my diamond painting but okay are you guys ready to see this and we're gonna fuse this together I have never done this guys so we're gonna do this together but I'm gonna take the paper off so you can see he's gorgeous are you ready are you ready I'm ready here we go look at Harry Potter isn't this cool I am so excited I like the way the I, all the how all the colors work so from what I understand this is the magic paper so this is going to go on top of it and he's still sitting on the pegboard okay you can't put it in an oven or anything use a medium um, iron which I have right here and um, you're supposed to just lightly put it over top you don't want this the holes to be closed the holes are supposed to be opened um, from what I understand. So, um, yeah. And then, um, once we do the top part and then we're going to flip it over and do the other side and it should be complete. So you're going to put this paper on here and they said it's reusable. Uh oh, a bead just came off. We don't want that to happen. Let me, let me put this bead on here. You have to be careful. These little guys will fly off of here really quick. Cause I do have an unboxing that I want to do, but I have to get Harry off my table and make sure his beads are secure <laughs> so all right I'm nervous are we ready to do this guys I'm ready to do this okay here we go all or nothing okay no pressure no pressure oh no there's steam I wasn't supposed to have steam Well, let me turn the steam off. We want dry heat. Okay. Uh-oh, something's knocking. Hold on a second. Oh, a bee came off. Oh, my gosh. Oh! Uh-oh. Guys, I'll be right back. Did you see all those beasts that came up? I need to fix this. Well, that was a mess. All the little beads came off. All right, I'm going to try this again, and I hope 
I don't have any issues. Here we go, guys. I'm nervous. Very, very nervous. Do not move the paper once you start ironing, that's for sure. Still feel another diamond that came up. Oh my goodness, this is not working for me. Oh, it's the edge, right? Sorry, I'm being quiet. I'm a little nervous. You worked, I, I spent about six hours on this and I see a bead that went up. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can fix it. You don't know until you try, right guys? All right. Okay, there you go. Now I got one more bead hanging around here. Oh, this is not working right. This didn't seem to be an easy project after all. I have to find out where I'm missing a gray bead. Oh. All right, all right, let's continue ironing. I don't know what's why it's lifting. Let's, let's try this again. Maybe I can fuse that one bead on its own. Bear with me, everybody. We can get this done. Okay, and then you're supposed to let it rest for a few minutes. Oh, all right. Where's my instructions? Okay, so now you're supposed to remove the paper. I'm going to do it very gently. Oh, this is not working, y'all. Okay. Maybe these are old beads. So now you know for the next project.
Oh, I hear it crackling. You hear it crackling? Okay. All right, let's see what we have here. have to find the missing bead. There's one, a gray one that popped out. Oh, it's not working, y'all. I don't get it. All right, so I'm going to stop you guys. Um, I'm doing something wrong here, and um, I will, I'll be back, y'all. I promise I'll be back with a fused Harry Potter, at least on one side. Well, guys, I am still working with this. I'm quite disappointed with it. Um, I guess I don't know whether to, if I have a bad product. Um, it basically says, you know, put the magic sheet on, sheet on there, the iron sheet on there, and then, you know, just lightly put it on here. Well, if you lift the paper up, all the pegs come out. And then um, I was on the understanding that you would still have holes, but I, I don't know, guys. I'm still working with it. Um, and I still have a mess, missing peg. Um, I don't know. There's always the first for everything. Um, so it, it looks like I'm going, I, all my pegs are getting melted because I can't lift the paper up. Um, or the pegs fall out. Hmm. Because, um, let me see if you can see right here. Uh, you probably can't. Let me bring my camera in. Uh, this is all melted plastic right here. And then these are still with the holes. So let me keep working with it. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. But from the instructions, that's not what it's supposed to be. But okay. Because you still have to do the other side. Hmm. Don't know. just get the edges here hmm all right guys I might be better off with my diamond painting <laughs> oh, no. These little kiddos do it. Why did why am why is that the chef having an issue here? Hmm. All right, let me see here. Oh, well, they're still moving. Maybe I have the wrong kind of iron. I don't know. What do you guys think? All right. I'm going to keep playing with this. And um, I shall return, y'all. Maybe with a pure melted Harry Potter. Hmm. All right, I'll be back. Well, I'm letting it cool. It's a little warped. I got my American history book on it and then we will flip it over. Some sides are melted. Boy, this was a hot mess, but um, you don't know until you try it, right?
So um, I guess I need another adult to help me. I had my husband come up and help me. I told him, I said, well, I guess I better stick to diamond painting because this isn't maybe not for me. <laughs> so um, um, let's see what it looks like on the other side because maybe one side will be all kind of melty and the other side will look normal. I hope. I do hope. Um, it's been a few minutes. Let's remove the book and see if I can salvage Mr. Potter. I don't know, guys. He's a hot mess. All right, well, maybe it's not too bad. Let me remove these pegboards. I think I'm going to have to take it downstairs and work on it. I don't know. Well, I am using a baking pan, so I guess I should be okay. I'll set it down so you guys can see it. He's a little waxy. I don't know. I'm going to put the book back on it. Because he's still warm. <laughs> All right. Let's let him sit there for a little bit. I hope that everything... I had one pegboard. One pe oh, no, we were able to get it in there. One peg flew out of it, and we had to try to put it back in there. So, um... Yeah. Okay, so I'm I'm not this side looks like it's a little okay. So it's a learning experience. All right, guys. Um I hope you're all doing well today. I guess you really shouldn't do your arts and crafts when you're not feeling up to par. So I am going to save this. Um because you could probably you can purchase these beads separately. Um, yeah. All right. I'm just afraid to fuse the other side. Maybe it just needs to be done very very lightly. And then I don't know if these go in frames or if you just I don't know what you do with them. Let me take this tape off of here so I don't. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to stop this because hopefully you can see the final one. And, you know, this was definitely a learning experience. Let me see what it looks like. Are you guys ready to see it again? Take my history book off of here. Well, it's not too bad. It is still warm. So, all right, guys. Well, this is Harry Potter, and uh, he still needs to be worked on. All right, well, Chef Diamond's out for now, and I'll come back uh, with a final picture, and um, I wish I had better results, but hey, that's okay. That's all right. This is all new to me. All right, guys, see you later. All right, bye. All right, guys, so I just want you to see this. I, I actually think it turned out okay for the first time. Let me get you a close-up here. So... This is the opposite side. So yeah, you know, I'm going to put it in a frame. I will show you the other side. The other side is not very pretty. That's what the other side looks like. This was definitely a learning curve. And, you know, it's kind of like, have you ever had a diamond painting that didn't turn out very well? Well, you know, it happens, right? Okay, so yeah, I, I okay, so I'm pleased with it. I am. I really am. Um, 
he's a little warped right here but he will he he'll do well in a frame all right so thanks for sharing the uh, being here with me and uh, we were able to share this together you saw my faux pas in there I never have a video without faux pas you know my bloopers all right guys love you all see you on my next video chef diamond is truly out this time bye guys Thank you.